I have a beak and a Christmas outfit. Why do you have a beak? And I'm iPad parentheses too. <laughs> you often contemplate the reasons for a human existence. You usually contemplate. <laughs> It doesn't have to be a bite, it should be like a bite, like a taste if you want to. Would you guys cook the pasta already? No. Oh. Well, <laughs> well I don't want to like make you guys cook the pasta if anyone else wants pasta. Well, who did this? I guess we're making pasta now. You want to tell them about your recent obsession? With the Jonas Brothers? No, with <laughs> Animal Crossing! Oh, well, Okay. Well, right now we're all gonna make some <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> I was like, that's how I was like, uh. I was like, what do you mean? She already knows. <laughs> no one knows about your Jonas Brothers obsession. I was watching Jonas LA because it happened to me plus. Uh -huh. So now I'm obsessed with Jonas Brothers. But like 2012 Jonas Brothers. Oh yeah. So I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing because it's really cute. Um, and you show them your stuff. Oh, of course. Well, I don't, cause I'm wearing like a little red riding hood dress right now, but like I like my previous outfit before more. <laughs> what to? This is her current quarantine obsession. Yeah, I had to play on my iPad because I don't have enough room on my phone. <laughs> uh, highly recommend this game. If you play, you know, let Cynthia know. I'll give you my ID. We can be friends. <laughs> Should I put chilies in the spaghetti? Yeah. Okay, so this is my campsite. On one side, I have like, how do I focus it? Oh, fun, yeah. So it's like a little zen area. I got some vases. And on this side, it's like you can have a little barbecue. It's a, it's a fun time. So yeah, it's great. <laughs> Except I'm like, I have all this money, but I don't have any materials, so I can't make any more things. So it's, it's really sad. I don't want to do this money. <laughs> so we have like, leaf dollars i guess and that's like you can use like real money to get that stuff and then we have like bells which is just like normal money but like i don't understand like let me know if you play this game and you have a lot of money but no materials because what am i supposed to do like how did i get so much money but no materials like i don't understand i mean i wouldn't want to do it like i just like think it's cool <laughs> i have those ladder shades that would go well with these <laughs> ladder shades yeah let me show you okay it depends it's like a a raffle thing, you know, you don't know what you get. Um, but sometimes, like, a hot dog. Oh, I don't want to put it in the hotel. Oh, that's cute. Right. Look, it matches your inside. Exactly. Look, it's like white and looks nice. It's three stars. Right. Mm -hmm. The first time. Look. I guess I will look at my account. They're huge. Yeah, I'm only missing one. Oh, I'm just, oh the last time I played was probably 2018. Why? How do you know? Because I'm wearing a Christmas outfit. <laughs> Wait, what? I have a beak and a Christmas outfit. Why do you have a beak? I don't remember. The garlic in it. Well, look how cute I am. I'm cute from two years, years ago. I'm cuter. <laughs> like, I don't need money. I need. Um. What's your idea? I need materials. My name's Bean. <laughs> Why? Pull it upside down. <laughs> so we made pasta the other day. 
handmade pasta. I insert a clip right now of me or I'm stretching the pasta. <laughs> trying to unstick it right now so we can use it because today is the last day for this so we have to use this soon okay so i have pasta hot link bell peppers and some chilies we're just basically trying to use everything that we have we're nice right hey this is how fun and then i lost it because you didn't play with it and i finally found it so yeah so that's what we're doing i think our goal is to use everything before it expires Mmm, homemade. <laughs> I would have made it spicier, <laughs> honestly. Really? Mm -hmm. Plenty spicy for me. I like start crying. Is it spicy for you? Yeah. Like actually hot, hot? Like I can keep eating, but like at some point, like I'm gonna. It be burns. Like... I think my taste buds are broken. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the pasta looks like. How do you feel about it, Caroline? It's fun. Like spice, spice. Mmm. Sleepy high. I think it's good level. Oh. Getting hotter. Yeah, I feel like I have problems. Do you not feel it at all? I mean, it's okay. But like, I think it's it's not spicy for me unless it hurts. That's hurt. <laughs> I like it it's spicy, but then not to the point where it's not enjoyable anymore. I mean, like, my digestive system is like so weak that I can't eat like buffalo sauce without my um, stomach hurting. Really? I was eating. I was gonna tell Cynthia before she put all those spices. I mean, no, like I like it. Like I'm having a good time still. I'll right let you now. know not anymore. <laughs> so one time I went to an Indian restaurant and I got this, this spicy curry there. I think if you get six alarm, you know the nori. Nori. Mm. When you get six alarm, um, you have to sign a waiver. I didn't get six alarm though. I don't think I did. I got some really high before. Like they started asking people if it was actually okay for them to eat it. <laughs> After I ate it, I couldn't walk. <laughs> I only got to like three, and because I was like, oh, it shouldn't be that bad. And then it was like, it was wait. Really bad. So I was like, I was like, this is really spicy. How, yeah. how can it jump from like two to, it's like one, you think it's like mild, two is spicy, three is maybe like a little spicier or something. So I think mm -hmm. I got that, and it was like really spicy. Yep, I got a really spicy one before. And it was pretty bad. Was I'm really bad at eating on camera. I don't like eating alone because then I got this like fear of people watching me eat even though like wow they watch me eat. Wait what? <laughs> like if I'm alone in the dining hall and I just think that strangers are watching me eat then I'm like embarrassed. But like why really? Do, do you wear headphones? No, I just like chill because I eat really fast. I do too. That's really bad for you. I guess it's like all you can eat so like everything's in small portions. But I don't eat that much to get me full. But then me neither. But I eat a lot. Really? Cause I, I, I want to finish my food that I bought, so I always eat you know, like overeat. Mm. Portions are too big. Portions aren't like small in Davis. Really? Like, well, yeah, it was it's a standalone kind of. Oh, ours are pretty small. Cause it's like I feel like a lot of people just like like to get like everything. Yeah, you get a taste of everything. That's mm -hmm. what I kind of did. But like, yesterday I had my first Zoom lecture because we're doing remote school now, and how's that going? Do you like it? It's terrible because I never feel like I have to do any work. <laughs> like, I'm kind of, I'm not behind technically, but like, I should have. You tell, you, tell them about how one of your professors, it was like music in the back while he was talking. Oh, it was crazy. So on the left. I can play it for everyone. Well, no, that's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, cause all of the professors, basically it's like worse recording and they're like, and then um, you see this, blah, blah, blah. And then his was, like, sorry, calm piano, and it was like, duh, 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 duh. hi, I'm professor. Like, the music slowly fades in. Hi, I'm professor, blah, blah, blah. And this is whatever, whatever, whatever class. And today, we'll be talking about And I was like, whoa. I like turned, I dimmed my lights, like lit candles, and I was like, whoa. I'm like, meditation. meditation. <laughs> um, but, so yesterday I had my first Zoom section, which I didn't know I had to do until like five minutes before. So I was in bed and I like didn't want to turn on my camera because I was not ready for that. And then um, <clears throat> I couldn't get to work on my laptop because I tried to Zoom with Caroline the day before and it just like wouldn't work and I thought I didn't have signal but I think it just wasn't working on my laptop for some reason. So I was trying to get on Zoom and I couldn't. And it was, it started at two and it was two and one and I was like, I just, I'm not gonna, I can't do it. And then I email my TA and I'm like, hi, like, sorry, I just like can't get on Zoom. Like, is there any way that I can make it up? 
and I'm like texting all my friends. I'm like, I don't, I like can't get on. Someone help me, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, okay, like just try on your iPad. So I got the app on my iPad. Finally worked. I got in like 15 minutes late, but I emailed her and I was like, hey, like I got in. Like, sorry, I was kind of late, but I finally figured it out. Um, and since it was on my iPad, I didn't have a name because I wasn't signed into my like Gmail or anything. Um, and at first I already felt stupid because I emailed her and I was like, I just can't get it to work. Like, this is impossible. And then I was like, oh, like, sorry, I got it. And then um, she sent out this Google form and I can't get access to it because I'm not logged into my school email. So I text the chat and I'm like, I just like can't get in. It like won't give me permission. And everyone's like, you have to log into your Gmail. And I was like, oh, like, okay, like, thank you so much. <laughs> and then so I finally do it. Like I do the Google form and everything. And then I realized that Everyone like has their full name in it because this is a class and I'm iPad parentheses too. <laughs> I like can't figure out how to change it. But at this point I'm like, it's better because then they don't know who was like, I can't get on this document. <laughs> so, <laughs> but now I figured it out and I changed my name after the class. So next week I'll get ready. I'll turn on my camera, participate in class. Oh, it still says iPad too. <laughs> <laughs> so the other day when we were making this pasta, so usually we cut the dough into four pieces, and when we rolled it, the pasta was like super long, and it was like taller than me. So I was thinking we should do a video where instead of cutting the dough into four pieces, we just roll the whole piece of dough and see how long the pasta gets, and then cook it and eat it. Can you imagine? I think it'll spread all the way across this house, <laughs> or like this room. I think it'll be at least 15 feet long. <laughs> We can get to measure. Four, maybe 20 feet. That I really want to make. Oh, I was literally just talking about this. What? With Caroline. That insanity. And then oh, I was like, I want to make. Well, no. Mine was just. Because this is what my mom tried to make, I think. Mm -hmm. um, you said sweet potato pancakes. Oh, it just says sweet cream pancakes. I saw sweet and pea, and I just thought that. This is really good. <laughs> <laughs> She thought this was sweet potato pancake. Why do I have like a hole? <laughs> so I'm looking forward to trying this because I think this is gonna be really good. I was supposed to get Japan last month and then Hawaii the end of this month. Hawaii? <laughs> I was gonna go this summer. Guess I'm not gonna anymore. <laughs> I know. How's that? I was like, at least I'll be here for corn season this year. I always, I always <laughs> miss corn season, you see? Really? I've been gone the past like three years for like for corn season. <laughs> I asked them, yeah. like, what's corn season? <laughs> the summertime, right? Yeah, summertime. Yeah, I actually cut my hair this quarantine already at home. I don't know if you can see it. Let me just brighten it up. My hair's really gross right now because I like did exercise and did yeah, so I cut my hair and I touched up my roots, but I haven't touched up my roots in like almost half a year So there's a band going across oh, the head. Oh, yeah, it's so like because it's too dark and it was too light Gosh, it, couldn't, yeah. it couldn't blend so I think next time I have to dye it dark you can tell from mine, too She's gonna try this for the first time my mom bought it because she felt like drinking it So she went to Korean <laughs> market yesterday and got this. <laughs> Because she felt like <laughs> chairs Wait, should I drink it fast and then <laughs> I mean, it's like good, like, cause her mom was like, you can't taste the alcohol. Um, I mean, it tastes like nutty occult. Okay, ready? I'm gonna be proctoring the Myers Briggs personality types quiz to Cynthia. I'm on the um, stationary bike right now, by the way. Oh, my dad bought one. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you a statement, uh -huh. and you're gonna say either agree, uh -huh. kinda agree, a little bit agree, uh -huh. neutral, or like the same thing for disagree. So like a little bit, kind of, and disagree. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. Kinda agree. Okay. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. Unrealistic. <clears throat> Disagree. Okay. Your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary. Agree. I knew that you were going to say that because I remember you were talking about it <laughs> at the time. Okay. 
You often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it has taken place. Kind of agree. <clears throat> if your friend is sad about something, you, your first instinct is to support them emotionally, not try to solve the problem. Kind of agree. Okay. People can rarely upset you. <laughs> kind of agree. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it is your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. This is hard because it all depends on what it is. Yeah. I'm just gonna assume if it's for something important, then I would. So, agree, kind of agree, or kind of agree. You are very affectionate with people you care about. Yeah, true. I can tell from <laughs> You often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. But you that was it. You are. <laughs> Hold your phone for a little while. <laughs> you often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. Hard to relate with those people? Mm -hmm. Like, I can relate, but I don't like. Actually, no, I don't relate. <laughs> I, can, I can. I'll sympathize and empathize right. with you, but I don't relate. I disagree. Okay. <laughs> when looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the catalog. Agree. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. Agree. I feel like I see that in you. <laughs> when you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. I don't remember my dreams. <laughs> so, like, disagree? <laughs> yeah. It's like, what are dreams? <laughs> What's that? In your opinion, it is sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life. Disagree. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your abilities, or your knowledge. Disagree. You would never let yourself cry in front of others. Disagree. You feel more drawn to places with a bustling and busy atmosphere than to more quiet and intimate ones. Disagree. You like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future. Wait, repeat the beginning of that? You like discussing different views and theories I on- Agree. Agree? Agree. When it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. Disagree. You cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to the study of something that you cannot see, touch, or experience. Disagree? A little bit disagree? Okay. You often make decisions on a whim. Disagree. You rarely think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have di done differently. It's like you don't do this. Neutral? You tend to focus on present realities rather than future possibilities. Oh my God. Chose some more. Agree. Um, you often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Disagree. When starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions upfront as possible. Neutral. When you know someone thinks highly of you, you also wonder how long it will be until they become disappointed in you. Disagree. Even when you have planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel like at any given moment. A little bit disagree. You often contemplate the reasons for a human existence. <laughs> you usually contemplate. <laughs> contemplate. <laughs> I was like, well, you're not gonna hurt yourself. That's part of the task. <laughs> you often contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. A little bit agree. You rarely <laughs> dwell on your regrets. A little bit agree. You see yourself as more of a realist than a visionary. I agree. You find it easy to empathize with a person who has gone through something you never have. I agree. After a long, exhausting week, a fun party is just what you need. Disagree. You always consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. A little bit agree. You're an adventurer, ISFP. You are 60% introverted. What is she? I agree. Um, observant, 58% over- I agree. Uh, feeling, overthinking. I disagree. Yeah, I feel like all your questions like were the opposite answers. Yeah. Um, assertive, over turbulent. Which is good, I'm very turbulent, which is like really <laughs> This trait underpins all others, showing how confident we are in ability to make decisions. I'm like 1% like the good one. 
can also see who else is the same thing as me. Yeah. Let's see. What do you mean like who else? Like Lana Del Rey. Oh, like big, big name people. Yeah, like they're the same person. Uh -huh. so Avril Lavigne, Frida Kahlo, Britney Spears, Michael Jackson. That's a good one. Strengths, you're charming. Oh. Sensitive to others. Imaginative, which is not what you answered. I know. <laughs> okay. Passionate. Curious. Artistic. Uh, Your weakness is fiercely independent. Unpredictable. I, I which is also not what you answered. Uh -huh. Easily stressed, which is uh, not what you answered. Uh, <laughs> Overly competitive. No, I would say, yeah. Fluctuating self esteem. Also not what you answered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like kind of confused. It's a little off. <laughs> <laughs> Is this for the vlog? Yeah. Hello. Welcome back to our vlog. This <laughs> to into the vlog. <laughs> I've been quarantined for three years now. What the hell is yesterday? I, <laughs> I haven't seen the sun in a long time. As you can tell, my skin is very pale. Yeah. <laughs> okay.